Chalk refined plants learn about growing care and control of Akibia vine plants by Susan Patterson, Master Gardener, Chocolate Vine, Printer Friendly Version. Chocolate Vine Akibia Quintata, also known as Five Leaf Akibia, is a highly fragrant vanilla scented vine that is hardy in USDA zones 4 through 9. This deciduous semi-evergreen plant reaches its mature height of 15 to 20 feet, 4.5 to 6 meters, rapidly, and produces beautiful lilac flowers from May through June. Since the chocolate vine growth rate is so fast, it makes an excellent cover for arbors, trellises, pergolas, or fences. Growing chocolate vine produces edible seed pods that taste similar to tapioca pudding. If you wish to have fruit, you must plant more than one five-leaf akibia vine. How to grow akibia quintata? So they grow so fast. Chocolate vine prefers a partially shaded spot in the garden. Although the plant will grow in full sun, it does best with protection from the afternoon heat. The soil for growing chocolate vine should be loamy with proper drainage and a high content of organic matter. You should begin planting chocolate vine plants in the garden after the last frost of spring in your area. Start seeds indoors six weeks before the last expected frost. Plant seedlings off in a protected area for at least a week before planting them in the ground. When growing chocolate vine plants, you will need to consider the care and control of Akibia vine plants. Therefore, it is imperative that the plant be controlled with regular pruning. The quick chocolate vine growth rate has a tendency to dominate the landscape and can easily overpower smaller plants. Give your vine plenty of room to spread and watch the plant so that it does not take over the garden. Prior to planting this vine, check with your local county extension to see if the plant is considered invasive in your area. Chocolate vine is a drought resistant but does benefit from regular water. Hmm, drought resistant but does benefit from regular water. Although it's not ne really necessary, you can use an all-purpose fertilizer during the growing season to promote healthy plants and many blooms. Propagation chocolate vine plants. Harvest seeds once the pods are ripe and plant them right away in a greenhouse or cold frame. You can also propagate this hardy vine by taking a shoot cutting that is six inches long from the new spring growth. Plant the cuttings in lightweight fine compost or planting them planting medium in a humid and warm spot until they root until their root cuttings. Did you find this helpful? Share it with your friends. Well, this article is relatively short, but we learned that uh, Akibia quintata grows so fast, and uh, there are two methods to grow seedlings. One is to cut the uh, six-inch uh, shoot from the spring shoot, 
and uh, plant them in a compost. Another one is to take the uh, seeds from the ripe fruit and start planting them in a greenhouse or cold frame. I do not know what the cold frame is, but I guess it's just uh, like a, it's not really cold, but like a cool frame where the seedlings can grow uh, comfortably. So cold frame or the greenhouse, you put the seed, uh, seeds right off the uh, grown uh, ripe fruit. So they grow so fast. Like, a, I don't know, they, so it needs, it needs some regulating, like a pruning, regular pruning. Uh, otherwise, it, the uh, Kibia Quintata can overtake the entire garden. And uh, in Korea, it's common. You can find the Kibia Quintata everywhere. But uh, if you are in the America, you need to check with your hard zones, like a 4 through 9 and see if it's not against the regulations. Now let's go uh, to another article to see uh, what benefits the uh, Akibia Quintata can bring to the table. Hmm, chocolate vine Akibia, Akibia Quintata. Uh, we don't have a bluish Akibia in Korea, they are all brownish, but if you go to uh, uh, Japan, you can find the uh, purplish uh, Akibia. Of course, in Korea you can find some, but they are not indigenous. They were brought from Japan or America. Uh, America, they brought the uh, Akibia from China, Korea, or Japan, and they grow rampantly everywhere in America. They are considered invasive uh, plant now. But let's quickly check out these articles, last part where uh, we see a plant description and efficacy of the Akibia quintata. Plant description, chocolate vine is an invasive, rigorous, fast-growing, woody, deciduous to evergreen climbing, trailing vine or ground cover plant that normally grows about 40 feet or 12 meter long. The plant is found growing in woods, hedges, and thickets in mountainous areas, forest margins along streams, scrub on mountain slopes, forest edges, streams, banks, and forest lands. It prefers light, medium, and heavy soils, but it requires well-drained, yet moist soil. Twigs are slender, red-brown. It requires a well-drained, yet moist soil. Twigs are slender, red-brown. Twigs are slender, Red brown buds are small, imbricate, rounded, imbricate. What is imbricate? Rounded to wedge shaped and reddish brown. Leaf scars are raised with six or more bundle scars. Bark is reddish to gray brown, developing interlacing ridges and furrows. Stem. Stem is woody, round to 4 inches or 10 centimeters in diameter at the base with a numerous uh, branching stems twining for support on plants or natural trellises or forming ground cover and rooting, rooting where nodes contact soil. Lime green and smooth becoming dotted with many brownish dots, lenticels, then light and dark gray, striated, and finally light gray speckled with raised gray dots. Leaf scarves are circular and cleft, protruding alternatively or in clusters along the stem. 
Divergent buds are a dark rich brown at maturity with glabrous imbricate bud scales. Bark of old stems are fairly smooth compared to many vines with a gray brown color to gray flushed with, with an overall purplish haze leaves. I will skip that flower, I will skip that too. We need to go to fruits. Four eye flower, four flowers give away to dangling clusters of one to five sausage shaped flesh. Violet or in Korea is just brownish fruit pods. It is two to four inches or five to ten centimeters long, tipped like a banana, and having a lengthwise suture along one side which is split open in fall to reveal small black seeds such a stitch such a fruits are initially light green turning pink to purplish with lighter speckles and a waxy coating coating as they mature fruit starts ripen in late september to early october when ripe the skin splits to reveal a pulpy edible inner core that splits further to expose many 100 plus embedded black seeds in a whitish pulp. The whitish pulp is edible. Seeds are ov ovoid oblong and compressed. Seed coat is brown to black and shiny fruit type. Follicle, fruit size range 7 to 10 inches. Purple, blue, chocolate vine image gallery. Looks good. Half cut chocolate vine. Leaves of chocolate vine. Immature fruits of chocolate vine. Chocolate vine, chocolate vine plant. Hmm. Health benefits of chocolate vine. Listed below are some of the popular health benefits of chocolate vine. 1. Metal disorders. Mental or metal? Pills made with chocolate vine seed, peeled. White poria, best thorn seeds. Ocorus tatarino wee root, poria with host wood. Play cloudy seed, Mitako, Cortex, Lysol radicals, Polgelia tenuifolia, Chinese yam, roots of Polgonatum, steamed, cinnabar, and honey is taken orally with ginseng soup to treat metal disorders. Metal disorders, not mental disorders. Two. Eyebrow loss, decoction of chocolate vine seed, real gar, and mastic is taken with wine to treat eyebrow loss, decoction of chocolate vine seed, hmm, real gar, and mastic is taken with a vine, wine to treat eyebrow loss. Three. Pain relieving, decoction of chocolate vine, poria coccus, ophiopogonan root, and pumice can be used as a remedy for hernia caused penis pain. <laughs> 4. Excretory system, decoction of cinnamon chum paniculatum. Uh, couch grass rhizome, akibia stem, chingma abutrillion seed, soapstone, better nut. Is this like a, the Harry Potter novel? Better nut, dianthers, superbus, and sodium sulfate can be used to treat difficulty with urination. A decoction of juncus. Ephesus stem, a kibia stem, 
Tianthus superbus and plantain seed is taken orally to reduce internal fever and promote diuresis. Five, anti-inflammatory chocolate vine is a very good anti-inflammatory agent which helps with arthritis, joint pain, back pain, lumbago swelling, and redness. Six, induces menstruation. This herb also helps to bring about monthly periods, thus regulating menstruation. Seven, powerful diuretic. Chocolate vine is a very good diuretic which helps with water retention and urinary challenges. Eight, great for headaches. Chocolate vine also helps with headaches and migraines when taken as a tea. Nine, anti-tumor agent. New studies are being done about using chocolate vine for the treatment of breast and digestive tract tumors. 10. Helps with weakness. Chocolate vine also helps with general feelings of weakness, helping to strengthen the body in general. 11. Inflamed kidneys and stomach. Chocolate vine is a great agent for soothing away irritations of the stomach and kidneys, thus helping to prevent further disease. 12. Great for the liver. Being a good anti-inflammatory agent, chocolate vine also helps to detox and soothe the liver. 13. Antibiotic. Chocolate vine is also a good antibiotic herb for getting rid of bacterial infections. 14. High in potassium. Chocolate vine is also high in potassium for good heart contractions and water regulation. 15. Lowers fevers. Chocolate vine roots can be made into a tea that works well for lowering fevers. 16. Powerful pain reliever. A dried stems made into a tea are good, very good for getting rid of pain. 17. Mouth sores. Chocolate vine used as a tea is also great for treating mouth irritation and sores. 18. Painful urinary infections. Chocolate vine also works well for getting rid of painful urinary tract infections. 19. Increases circulation. Chocolate vine increases circulation to all parts of the body including the heart. 12. 20. Helps with the skin challenges. This herb also works well for skin rashes, irritations, and pain and swelling of the skin. Traditional uses and the benefits of chocolate vines. So I think chocolates, these chocolate vines are panacea for all diseases and pains. Stems are anodyne, antifungal, antiflogistic, bitter, diphoretic, diuretic, aminogog, febrifuge, laxative, galactogog, resolvent and stimulant, stomach, and vulnerary. When taken internally, it controls bacterial and fungal infections and is used in the treatment of urinary tract infections, lack of menstruation, to improve lactation. The fruit is anti-rheumatic, depurative, diuretic, febrifuge, stomach, and tonic. It has a use in traditional medicines in which urinary tract infections, scanty lactation, and rheumatoid arthritis are treated. Fruits have been shown to have stimulatory effects on blood circulation and to have anti-cancer properties. The dried stems are used in the form of an analgesic, antiflogistic, 
and diuretic. In China, practitioners of herbal medicine also recommend this drug in the form of diuretic as well as an anti phlogistic for treating conditions like amenorrhea, problems related to the breast, diabetes, dropsy, cold, headaches, general weakness, hernia, lumbago, and rheumatism, in addition to inflamed kidneys and stomach. The herb is also effective for inducing lactation and menstruation. Root of chocolate vine is used in the form of an antipyrectic substance. Dried stems can be taken internally to treat both fungal and bacterial infections. Roots are known for their cooling properties that help alleviate fever. Fruits are also noted for their anti-tumor properties and are widely recognized as a natural treatment for various types of cancer. Pills made from its seeds and other essential herbs are traditionally taken with ginseng soup to address different mental disorders. Decoction made from chocolate vine stems may he help relieve pain related to hernia. The herb is generally taken as a remedy to menstrual issues. The plant is commonly used as a remedy to various other diseases, including diabetes, dropsy, cold, headaches, as well as lumbago and general weakness. Chocolate vine improves the body's digestive and cardiac profiles. Chocolate vine supports both male and female reproductive health. Hmm. Culinary uses, fruit can be consumed raw, bitter skin of the fruit is fried and eaten, leaves are used as a tea substance. Rind, with a slight bitter taste, is used as a vegetable, for example, stuffed with ground meat and deep fried. Soft, young shoots are used in salads or for salt pickling. The empty pod is stuffed and deep fried. The fruit is also used to make wine. Other facts. The plant was ranked 13th in a survey of 250 potential anti-fertility plants in China. Peeled stems are very pliable and can be used in basket making. Plants have sometimes been used as a ground cover but their method of growth does not really lend themselves to this issue. Uh, chocolate vine is a specimen plant used in ornamental gardens and managed landscapes. Chocolate vine seeds produce oil used in traditional soap making in China. Chocolate vine has also being used in the form of ground cover, prevention and control. Due to the variable regulations around registration of pesticides, your national list of registered pesticides or relevant authority should be consulted to determine which products are legally allowed for use in your country when considering chemical control. Pesticides should always be used in a lawful manner, consistent with the product's label. Control. Physical mechanical control. Vines of chocolate vine, which are growing on the ground, can be pulled by hand. For climbing vines, first cut the stems near the ground to kill the upper portions in the tree canopies. The plant below the cut will remain alive and must be pulled repeatedly over many growing seasons. Young vines that regrow can be cut any time of year using a weed, whip, or more. Vines must be cut down repeatedly over several years until no growth occurs. No regrowth occurs. Regrowth. Through thorough mulching may be an additional tool to suppress regrowth after an initial pulling and cutting. 
chemical control treatment with a 2 to 4 percent tricol prior in water can be applied to control chocolate vine. Best results occur when treated during spring, early summer, many desirable plants are present during this time. Therefore, a fall dormant treatment followed by spot treatments during the growing season are often advisable. To control climbing vines in trees, cut large stems and immediately treat the stems with a herbicide, tree coal pyre or glyphosate. A subsequent foliar application may be required to control new seedlings and any reshoots, re-sprouts, regrowth, lumbago, or decoction, concoction, decoction. Yeah, concoction. What is decoction? I forgot the uh, word. Let's go back and uh, look for the word. Yeah, I know what the concoction is, but uh, I know I decoction, but I forgot the meaning. Decoction. Extract required by boiling. Tea brewed from plant bark and roots. Okay. Tea brewed from plant bark and roots. Extract acquired by boiling. Decoctions. Okay. Decoct. To boil down. Conquer. Cook. Decoct. Hmm. Decoction. Tarim. Tarim. Decoction. Hmm. Concoction is combination of pills or powders. Decoction is more like a tea, tea cook. You cook your tea from the by boiling roots and stems. So uh, thanks for listening and that's it for today. Bye bye.